What about these? Looks right. The quicker picker upper. Bounty absorbs spills like a sponge. And Bounty is two times more absorbent, so you can use less and get the job done with one. This works. But when you back on track. The Law Brothers went above and beyond and settled my case for $1.2 million. $700,000 for my case. Boom, baby! Call us. We're the Law Brothers. Call 310-777-7777 or visit lawbrothers.com. noon after 146 days on the picket lines the wga and hollywood studios have reached a tentative deal to end the strike thanks for joining us for the ktla 5 news at noon i'm lou parker and i'm pedro vera in today for glenn walker the deal still needs to be approved but picketing has been suspended for wga members and this comes after five days of non-stop negotiations ktla 5's kimberly chang live in beverly grove with more details hi kimberly Hi, today you won't see picketers in their usual spots. As you mentioned, the writer strike has been suspended. And although WGA members still need to approve this tentative deal, many are already celebrating this new contract. <laughs> The Writers Guild of America and the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers confirmed in a joint statement that they have reached a deal on a new three-year contract. The next step, WGA board members must approve the agreement and then the union's 11,000 members must vote on it. That could happen within days and writers could get back to work, but with actors still on strike, it won't be business as usual just yet. The Screen Actors Guild went on strike in July over a separate contract with AMPTP and for them, the strike is not over. Over. We're still waiting for details on this new WGA contract. WGA and AMPTP were divided over several issues, mainly pay, staffing size, and the use of artificial intelligence. Both sides went back to the negotiating table and after five days reached a deal Sunday night. After being on the picket lines for about five months, some writers say they're feeling relief and some say they plan to stand in solidarity with actors on the picket lines. What we know is our negotiating committee is very happy. They called it an exceptional deal. I don't think they would have put us out on strike this long to settle for anything less than something that was going to pass uh, the membership's sniff test. Uh, so I, you know, them saying we got an exceptional deal makes me very excited because I think we might have actually saved the film and TV industry with this strike. It's good. I mean, I haven't seen the details of it yet, obviously, but like, it's definitely the first big bit of optimism to have in a while. I'd say it's, it's, it's a good thing for sure, and it'll give us momentum to get a SAG deal done. Last night, sag afters negotiating committee congratulated WGA and said they look forward to resuming negotiations for their own separate contract. Reporting live in Beverly Grove, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News. Kimberly, thank you. A family is mourning and demanding answers for a man who was shot and killed by officers just last week. Today, the family of Ivan Solis Mora has announced that they are pursuing legal action against the Inglewood Police Department. KTLA Sarah Welsh is live in Inglewood with the details on the lawsuit. Sarah. Hi, Pedro. Good afternoon. The lawyer representing the family says he's going to make sure the city pays for this, and he's going to do everything he can to bring justice to this family. Let me step out. You can again see this small memorial that's been set outside the man's home. This morning, his mother told us this in Spanish. Yo no más quiero que sepan que mi hijo era un buen muchacho. Él nunca le hizo nada a nadie. Yo siempre luché por mi hijo hasta el final. Él nunca le hizo mal a nadie. Todos aquí lo querían. Si hubiera habido alguien aquí, mis vecinos o alguien, no hubiera pasado esto. Porque él nunca fue violento. Él nunca agredió a nadie. Nunca. Él siempre, siempre me decía algo y, me, y después me decía, sorry, mom. 